My name is Chawa Horvat from the Department of Fluid Mechanics of the Fac Faculty of Mechanical Engineering here at the Budapest University of Technology and Economics. I'd like to talk to you about our department, which is our bastion that is built on many strong pillars. Our department has many, many different research groups, and these are our pillars, each research group providing a key aspect with regard to the research that we do and the way that we can help all our partners, be those industrial partners or research institutes. How can we do this, or what does the department provide? This bastion, what does it provide on our behalf? Well, it provides us with ex excellent uh, research facilities, and with our vast experience, we're able to use the wind tunnels, the measurement rigs, be that hot wire anemometry, laser Doppler anemometry, particle image velocimetry, or microphone systems that we have, be that single microphone or phase array microphone systems that we have, in order to carry out tests on our specialized test rigs. In this aspect, I'd like to talk about a little bit later about turbo machinery test rigs or other specialized test rigs, be those for our research or for your research, and in order to carry out the measurements we need in order to prove our theories, to check our, our, uh, our thoughts, in order to see if what we're designing is good or not. But we don't only have measurement rigs that we can use. We also have simulation, simulation technology that we can apply. So we, we have many, many uh, strong commercial codes that we can use in order to do uh, CFD simulations, so computational fluid dynamic simulations. We can do many multi-physics types of investigations. And we have in-house codes that we've developed or further developed if we use a uh, an available in uh, code that's open source in order to look at many, many specialized applications, be that mesoscale atmospheric flows, uh, fire safety applications, or aeroacoustic simulations, and many, many interesting environments. Our pillars that I was talking about are these research groups you can see here. Our turbo machinery and our aeroacoustics, or, I'm sorry, our turbo machinery and acoustics research groups, which I'm going to talk about after this. And, my, um, and the other pillars that we have at our department, morphodynamics research group, atmospheric flows research group, aerodynamics research group, and nonlinear dynamics of interconnected systems research groups. Each one of these pillars has a leader. I lead the acoustics research group, and I'm a member also in the turbo machinery research group, and I'm going to talk about those a little bit more now. Here's our, a picture of, of a portion of our group. We're quite strong. We're almost 10 uh, people with uh, the head of the department also being in a research group. He leads the turbo machinery side of the group. I lead the acoustics side of the group. And we work with many, many partners in the industry and around the world in order to, to carry out our, our research and investigations. What can we provide on your behalf? Well, with regard to turbo machinery, we're highly skilled in applying uh, control vortex design methods and radial stacking techniques in order to achieve an aerodynamically uh, suitable system which can do the performance uh, with the restraints that you might have. So it can achieve the performance that you need, taking into consideration any restraints you might have. Why, why it would be important for you to work with someone with such skilled uh, experience and skills and experience. Uh, we work with many, many small applications, be that something of only a few centimeters size, to something that might be a few meters in diameter in many, many uh, difficult uh, environments. How does the term machinery group and the acoustics research group uh, meet? Well, when we apply our measurement methods and our simulation methods in order to achieve a high performance and a good acoustic uh, characteristics, we use our simulation and measurement techniques in order to develop every th uh, all the different systems that we look at. Here you can see that we apply CFD and CAA, computational fluid dynamics and computational aeroacoustics, in order to look at the aer aerodynamics and then the acoustics of the various uh, systems that we look at. And we don't only do this with simulations, we also do this with measurement techniques, as you can see at the bottom of the slide. With regard to counter-rotating open rotors, uh, which some of you might have uh, joined in to hear about, we've, we've worked together with NASA Gillen Research Center in the past, We've worked together with colleagues in Ireland and in around Europe in order to work on different methods in order to, to investigate counter-rotating open rotors. This is the, the test that we've worked with the most. That's why I'm showing you this one on this slide. And my students and I, my PhD students and master students and my colleagues to, together with me have developed many different uh, filtering methods in order to separate the tonal and the broadband components of these, of the noise sources of these um, of these turbine machinery systems, and we've looked at them using phase array microphone systems in order to localize the noise sources. It is our belief that if we're able to localize the noise sources, we'll be able to study them in more detail. When we study them in more detail, we'll understand them. 
Once we understand them, we can then set a plan on how to uh, alleviate the systems from these noise sources and provide the community with, no with uh, term machinery systems that are much better uh, on their, on, uh, with regard to their health and their future. Uh, not only have we concentrated on aircraft engines, we've also worked with drones. And we're de currently developing a drone test rig at our department that we'd ha be happy to, to show you and continue our research on with you. As I said, we have our pillars, and we're very proud of these pillars. If you're interested in any of these uh, research groups, please take a look at our department's website or the competence map in order to learn more about us. Thank you very much for listening, and we look forward to working together with you.